talk about how we all together are gonna change the world a little bit because we're all here and we're all gonna make a difference. And that is founded on all of the words that Jim just mentioned and that I just mentioned. So we're gonna change the world. First though, I thought let's talk, take a quick look at what is happening in the world around us today. And especially for many of us in this room that work in the chemical environment. These are the things that Covestro is focused on. Climate change. My goodness, what did we wake up to this morning? Another nor'easter heading into the eastern states, right? Second one in, in a week. Um, incredible. Last year we saw hurricane after hurricane. And actually, last week, I flew in Friday to the US, to Pittsburgh. That's my home base. I'm living in uh, Germany right now, Dusseldorf. Last week, I was on the phone with, um, with my people on Saturday and Monday, and they even, even said in Dusseldorf over the weekend, it's March 3rd. We had snow, and that's unheard of um, in March. We have a little bit of snow in, in December and January, but you can't deny that there's something going on with the, with the climate and the change. Second one, urbanization. Jim talked about a few, gave a few stats on what's happening. Urbanization, I read yesterday, right now 50% of the world's population lives in cities. By 2050, that's gonna grow to 75%. 75% of us will live in major cities around the world. Demographic growth, population is expanding. Plus, the lifespan of all of us is increasing. We're living longer, more fulfilled lives. And the last one, increased mobility. Uh, I will sneak in Uber there, Ellen. So yes, we all know about Uber, autonomous driving, and all sorts of um, different things. I will show you one, one example of how Covestro is supporting all of these mega trends that are going on in the world. And of course, you can't deny why we're all here. We're, we've been talking about it. I, I heard it on the news this morning, digital. Digital is everywhere. I think in the chemical industry, it's taken us some time to get here, but we're here. It's here and it's not gonna go away. What I, what I did, I, I looked at some, some research and there was a group of three individuals who did a, um, did a research study on what it's gonna take to, to live in this digital world. And they talk about the forces behind. They did a survey of more than 1,000 people, executives, on what digital means and what it's gonna take to lead this digital change. And then they also did in-depth interviews with 19 people. This is what they found. More than 90% say that digital is gonna have an impact, some sort of an impact. I would actually admit myself that I was in that left-hand box, somewhat significant. This was about two, three years ago, right after our spinoff from Bayer. You know, everybody's coming to us, the business, digital, digital, what are we doing about digital? I thought, okay. I've only been in the IT world for about four or five years. It's a hype word. We have been digital, actually. We have smartphones, we have tablets, we've got applications, we have been digital. So I was a little bit in that somewhat significant from a chemical industry perspective. Not anymore. So I actually believe this picture is more towards the right. That 90% is shifting towards right. It's gonna have a significant impact on us. On the right-hand side, yes, you're right too. Um, you see, are we prepared? As an organization, are we prepared for what's coming? What's now in the present and what's coming? And there's where you can see some are prepared. <coughs> Some are well prepared, but most of us are still sort of wondering what, what does this really mean? Uncertainty, ambiguity. And they focused on leadership. From a leadership perspective, what are we going to need to take us through this digital world? And what they came up with, they, they, when they interviewed these 19 people and, and looked at the survey, they found a difference from the traditional leadership style to what it's gonna take for leadership in a digital age. And they summarized it in, in the acronym, we love acronyms, HAVE. And that H, humility. And that's what I really wanna go into to more details with you today about humility. Because for me, that's where it starts. We are gonna be connected and we need to talk. We need to engage with one another. Engagement, listening, sharing our experiences, 
and humility, accepting the fact that we all don't have the answers any longer. That's really what humility means. We have to rely on our networks, on our people, on our relationships. And that's really where, where I see the future going.